All right, what's up, YouTube? We're starting the video in the office on here. We're getting the video up for today, getting some of your sticker order shipped out. Uh, side note, if you have not tried Hint Water, they just came out with, or I've just recently seen Hint Peach. Best in the game. I just ordered like 50 uh, bottles of this. Best stuff. Along with the uh, the normal Tim Hortons. But but uh, for winter time, since it's currently snowing outside, ordered up a little uh, stationary for the mountain bike. Some exercise in when it's... Uh, Hold outside for the next like five months. I set this guy up. My goal is to uh, get on that thing every morning. Wow, no way. Did something actually come like pre set up for once? It is. Wow, that is. That's a first. Wow, am I reading that right? Your trainer comes fully assembled. This company, you're doing stuff right. Well, I definitely didn't take into account the knobby noise on this thing, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Uh, it's super obnoxious, the vibration is terrible. I might just get like a, a road tire or something to put on here. So this video should go up on Saturday. Sunday's video was supposed to be the reveal of the new project bike, but I was messaging the guy back and forth on Facebook Marketplace. All of a sudden he said he doesn't want to sell it, he can't get rid of he like basically wanted to buy a new 125 and then now he doesn't want to sell it anymore because he doesn't he thinks he can get more money out of it than the amount that we agreed on so i guess we're not gonna have a uh, a new project bike reveal video on sunday but comment down below what you think the new project bike is thumbs up some of the comments that are close to it or if you got it right. But I'm gonna go outside, warm the alt up, uh, maybe wrap that thing around in the snow. All right, well, I figure since some of you said you like the DIY stuff, finish up. I've been uh, procrastinating, finish up this drywall, and then uh, I gotta get it warm enough in here so I can start mudding. Time lapse this really fast, and we'll get right into the alt in the snow video. So I really don't wanna do it because it's spotless, it's super clean. Set to clean it, it's getting torn down anyway. Smash that thumbs up button if you wanna see more of this and to support the channel, it helps me out a lot. If you guys are new, definitely hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos like this on the e-bike, snowmobiles, pit bikes. That way you don't miss any future videos that come out. That's what feels good to finally actually pretty much like 95% finish something. But uh, like I said, I'll just pop that insulation in there. We should be good for right now, but it definitely is a lot warmer. In All right, well, I'll quit messing around and uh, we'll break out the e-bike. Get going in the snow. All right, well, I'm really limited on daylight right now. I was out ripping the, the snowmobile this morning. We got another like three inches of snow last night, but uh, I guess cue the e-bike the e in the snow edit. This was definitely not a, whoa, I hit the tripod. This was definitely not a good day to do it. The ground's still wet and uh, it's tearing off the grass. This thing just got too much power. This thing is so much fun in the snow. I don't know how many more shots I can get in my lawn at least because it's gonna destroy my lawn and it's gonna cause me to have a lot of work come springtime. But in map two, this thing has more than enough power to uh, drift around and have fun with.
fun. Brake stopped working already. That's good. Hard to see. Can't see any ruts under the snow. Should be the little sand pit over here. Check this out. One man show today. Got the camera on a tripod. Maybe I'll try and hit that snow jump or something. That'd be kind of cool. Don't want to go in that water though. Boom. Here is behind the scenes of setting up the shot when you don't have somebody to film. This thing just rips. Try and get this berm good. I mean, so far I haven't really noticed any uh, the battery degrading any faster than it would before. But obviously, it's going to, since the wheel's spinning so much more than normal. I think I'm stuck. Still so fast. I guess we'll head back now. It's getting pretty dark. I don't know how much you're actually gonna pick up on the GoPro, but this thing's a blast in the snow. It's a blast all around, but in the snow, besides the cold factor, it's not too bad. All right, well, I hope everyone liked this video or enjoyed it to make it worth it now that I gotta clean it again. Get the rinse kit out and the heater out and clean it with that hot water, but. Ooh. This thing is covered. Oh, sorry, I couldn't get uh, too many other shots. I'm kind of limited on daylight because it gets dark at. Oh, it's a lot heavier now. It gets dark at five o'clock now, so hopefully it's worth it. If you guys enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up button. Comment down below if you want to see me do it again when I have some more daylight and get somebody to actually film me. I don't think my tinted lenses help any in that case, but whatever. Sand mixed with mud, mixed with snow. Should come. Got the heater going to somewhat melt everything off. Shout out to uh, Rinse Kit once again, making my life easier. Hooked it up to the hot water thing and just spray this thing right off with super hot water. All right, so this thing's all cleaned up, ready to go. All I gotta do is dry it off. And then I'll put it back on the other side of the grill. Alrighty, like I said, if you guys enjoyed the Ulta video, this thing's uh, pretty spotless now. Um, I'm waiting on a few things to come for that. I have to today ship out the seat to uh, Traction MX. That way he can size up and custom make a uh, seat cover for this thing. Because uh, he said he doesn't have a template, so I'm just going to ship him the whole seat. And that'll make his life easier. So he can get one of those sick Traction MX seat covers on there. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'm waiting on a few things for the garage. I have to uh, mud the whole garage today. I'm sure I'll film a little bit of that and tape everything and, and then get to uh, painting that. Then I got another big industrial bench coming for over here. That way all the parts I take off, the future builds, 125 stuff, if I'm working on anything, will get laid out on that. And then if it needs to get like organized and all laid out, as if like when it goes back together, all laid out on like a, a rag, it'll be put over here. Um, already started on another little project over here with these little bins or uh, sticker organization, but you guys probably don't care to see that. But uh, yeah, a lot of stuff in the works. Like I said, I wish today I was driving right now to uh, go pick up the new project bike, but I have to still be on the hunt looking for a new project bike. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty bummed about that, but I'll find one. I'll find one sooner or later probably. I wanted to start on it come December 1st and try to finish that build before the end of December, but if I can't find a bike before December, it's probably not gonna happen. But like I said, I'm gonna keep looking and I'll keep you guys updated. If you guys are new, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. 
Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan, if you want to stay up to date before the vlogs come out. Little update on the OG Pit Bike giveaway, um, but when I'm announcing the winner. I need about a week to get all the, the orders that were placed within the last few days. So give me a little bit of time. I will for sure announce it when I'm announcing the winner on the YouTube channel. I'm probably gonna do a live video on here. That way um, people can watch it later on. It just makes everything more legit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Little update on the OG pit bike.